So I just wanted to share a quick uh, visual of how I get Sign Player to work in Cubase um, with different instruments on different MIDI channels. Uh, picture is always worth a thousand words. So I'm going to start with just uh, creating a Sign Player uh, track. Sorry, so I've got Sign Player over here. I'm just going to drag it into my track list and I get it over here. Um, I'm going to add three instruments. I'm going to add uh, just the sustained trumpet, uh, the sustained horn, and then we'll do the same sustained trombone. So I have uh, three here, and this is on MIDI channel one, MIDI channel two, MIDI channel three. You can click on these MIDI channel assignments if you want to change them. Um, but I have a trumpet and a horn and a trombone all loaded into the same sign player. So this is essentially a multi-timbral instrument. Now I find the best way to get uh, MIDI out of here into the sign player is to actually right click on my instrument channel, go up and I'm gonna hit uh, create MIDI here. Since I got three instruments, I want three MIDI channels. I'm just boosting that count up to three, add the track. And then I'm gonna go ahead and We'll just rename these horn and trombone. All right, now the thing is that when I created these, they actually got assigned to channels two, three, and four. I can see that. They're also uh, over here in the inspector. You can see that the output routing is going to the sign player and it's on channel four. I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, so, but you know, obviously over here I've got two, three, and four, but over here I've got one, two, and three. So I want to change this to two, three, and four. That way my trumpet channel goes to the trumpet, my horns go to the horns, etc. So the one thing that is important in my configuration of Cubase here, which I think is a setting you can set somewhere, but it's, it should be the default, is that I need to have trumpet highlighted in order to hear the trumpet. There's the horns, and there's the trombone. And if I actually go into the mixer and I want to just kind of like get a sanity check, I'll see that when I'm selecting the trombone, I'm only going to see these two faders or those two level meters, same for the horns. Because sometimes two instruments might sound the same, or you might have two violins or something. So then this is kind of a nice sanity check to be able to look here in the mixer page of the sign player. To, uh, to figure out, yeah, my MIDI is going to the right channel. So that's how I set things up so that um, I have one sign player instance, loads up as many instruments as I want, and if my MIDI configurations change later, it's just crucial that these uh, MIDI channels here are synced to these MIDI channels here. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to right-click on the sign player instrument channel from there and go to add track and it'll it'll basically by doing that automatically add MIDI tracks that are pre-configured to send over here to the sign player or whatever virtual instrument you have there it's just that then you want to also make sure the MIDI channels are um, are matching up from over here and over here